Hello everyone, my name is James. I am one of the Counter Agents developers. As some of you have asked, I'm going to go ahead and give a brief tutorial on how to use our map maker. First off, this is map maker quick tips. You can access this through our little yellow square up here in the top right corner. So please do go ahead and check that out if you have any questions about the map maker. So we're going to start off building a new level. I'm going to name this one Mr. Agent. If you want to clear what's currently displayed on the map, just make sure that that's toggled to green, and then go ahead and hit create. Alright, here we go. So starting with floor, hit normal, drag and drop with left click, or you can do borderless. Borderless makes it so you can actually fall off the edge. If you ever need to delete any of these, hit the alt key and left click, and you can drag, drop, or one at a time. Now floor 2, you can hit normal, and just drag, drop, just create your whole flooring system. Okay, and WASD to move your map around. So it gets a much clearer image of your camera. Zoom with wheel, scroll up and down. So let's start putting some props in here. Box, just drag and drop, and you can put multiple at a time. Uh, if you need to delete one of these, just right click to deselect, and then click on one of the boxes, hit the delete key. So, objects, it's a little different from floors. On floors, you have to be on the floor and hit Alt key, drag and drop. And with, with objects, you select the object and hit delete. But let's keep on placing some of these. If you want to change the, uh, the size of the box or the rotation, just play with these scale markers here at the bottom left. We've got all these crates we can play around with as well. Bridges and ramps. So ramp, you'll need these to move from floor to floor. Just rotate it. And it should be set on the same height, so you don't have to worry about adjusting those. And then we can move on to interactive. So player one, start press it and it will only let me place four because four is the maximum number of players that can be played on a on a level now this other P start this is for a checkpoint you can place those down as well and if you walk over them that will be your new starting point be sure to place the bag and an exit point some springs to move from floor to floor and the boost pads as well. Click on any object to drag it around, move it around. Now guards. Guards are the funnest part of the map maker. Click on them, drag and drop. And then uh, each one of these right now, they will spawn on their own, but let's make them all one single guard. So I click on this guy, I press the C key, or I can hit connect to. So connect to this guard, deselect with right click, select this guard again, connect to this guard, and they'll automatically form this pathing. I press this guard, and I can hit the C key as a kind of shortcut so I don't have to press the connect to button. Deselect and select again, select to that guard, and so now this guy will be forming this pentagon shape. Be sure to select spawn guard so that you know which guard is spawning. So which guard starts the chain. There's some other fun functions of guards too. So I select this guy, spawn, action. I can have him just wait here and looking in different directions. One of my favorite things is spin attack. And you can add that in. And the duration, you can make it really fast or really slow change it clockwise to counterclockwise. So this guard right now, he's just going to be spinning really slow. And with each of these guards too, I can add actions too. So wait, I can have this guard wait uh, four seconds here with a random interval of uh, 1.04. So that changes up the guards just enough that it uh, it messes with you a little bit.
So we can go up and test the level now. Now as we saw, this guard spinning around slowly. This guard, he's waiting for those four seconds, maybe five, and then continuing, continuing his pathing. I step on any of these player starts and that becomes my new spawn point. Pick up the bag. Those are the basics of the map editor. If you have any more questions, remember this yellow cube up here. And the next steps, uh, be sure to always save your maps. So save. You can also add a new version so that the previous version, version 1, is this. But then version 2 is anything I add on top of this. So now this is all part of version 2, not saved in version 1 when I save it again. Uh, I can load any past maps, including Mr. Agent. And also, you can upload maps to the workshop up here. Make your description, your tags, so people can find your level, and then publish. That should be it. Thank you guys all for playing Counter Agents. We're really excited to have a, a fun community here. So, please don't hesitate to ask any more questions. We're definitely here to help you. Have fun playing Counter Agents.